island life will never get old. How much more of the said island has a lot of activities to offer like hiking, horseback riding, and a whole lot of water activities check out the most expensive private island in the world. Lanai, often known as the Pineapple Isle, is a little island 8 miles off of the coast of Maui that is one of Hawaii's best kept secrets. Lanai is home to protected marine reserves and populations of Hawaii notably endemic marine species as well as a variety of renowned scuba diving and snorkeling destinations. Lanai Hawaii's smallest populated island entices visitors within numerous attractions. Lanai is only 9 miles off of Maui but it feels like another world. The first can be found in opulent resorts, where guests can enjoy world-class amenities and championship-level growth, the other can be spotted in a four-wheel drive car bouncing over the island's mountainous back roads in search of the offbeat in path trenches. Any of Lanai's three zones will provide you with peace, adventure, and seclusion. On Lanai it's usual to go on a four-hour hike and not see another soul. Lanai is one of Hawaii's smallest islands, with a population of only 3,200 people it's also a place that has managed to preserve its nearly intact immaculate culture and way of life. When you go you'll understand why they struggle to keep it that way. Lanai's exclusivity and VIP vibe are unlike any other Hawaiian island. Lanai is absolutely untouched and off the beaten road distant from bustling beaches cluttered with tourists. Lanai is full of mysteries that generate quite the attraction despite being completely different from what most people anticipate when they think of a Hawaiian resort. Mr. Larry Ellison, the creator of Oracle, owns 98% of Lanai privately. Ellison also bought it in 2012 from David Murdoch, who bought it from O.J. Dole, as part of Murdoch's purchase of Castle & Cook, a real estate and construction firm that owned amazing first-rate hotels and golf courses on the island. Lanai on the other hand has a considerably longer history. Let me take you back to the 1500s. According to legend the son of Maui's chief wrecked such havoc when he damaged the crop of Redford trees, that he was banished to this uninhabitable continent. Known to the people of Maui as the island of ghosts as punishment according to legend, while there the sun cleansed the area of its evil spirits, he christians the island Lanai, which means day of conquest and the people soon began migrating from Hawaii and establishing Lanai as a settled island. Fast forward to 1922 James Dole, inventor of Dole Pineapple, paid 1.1 million for the island, he had high aspirations for Lanai and built the majority of the island as it is now. Dole developed Lanai to the world's largest pineapple producer. A position it held until the international production of the tropical fruit grove prices down, leaving Hawaii's farms in the dust. With its final pineapple harvested in 1992, the island waved goodbye to pineapple production. David Murdoch, the island's owner of the time, changed the course and sought to promote Lanai as a tourist destination. Let's talk more about activities you can do in Lanai Island. If you're looking for a truly tropical retreat the beaches of Lanai provide isolation, romance, and beauty. The island's shoreline is 18 miles long with isolated beaches where you can bury your toes into pure white sand and gaze out to the rolling blue waves. While people watching on Hawaii islands it's fun, nothing beats the thrill of finding our colorful undersea residents, from darting yellow butterfly fish to binging green sea turtles. It's simple to spawn these intriguing locals while snorkeling, scuba diving or even visiting an aquarium. Lanai is known for its diving, you can take boat trips from Maui or stay on Lanai and have the resort take you to Cathedral's Shark Fin White Rock or any of the many other fantastic scuba diving locations. It doesn't just stop there as there are a lot more activities you can do on Lanai. You can experience boating on Lanai, take a sunset cruise, a fishing trip or a snorkeling adventure, where you can take in the stunning underwater environments. You can also enjoy the spectacular beauty in the Garden of Gods, which is only a 45-minute drive from Lanai City or even take a far far forward to the lonely shipwreck beach where unfortunately swimming is not recommended. If you are into shooting and archery you can use shooting and archery to develop your outdoor skills. Lanai also offers horseback riding and helicopter tourists to see the island from above. 
Finally a cherry on top after a long relaxing day, you can indulge in delectable meals at one of four seasoned properties where you can eat at your heart's content. Lanai is worth a day trip or even more if you're staying in Maui and have planned a long vacation to Maui. If you're attempting to see everything Maui offers in 5 days a day trip to Lanai isn't worth it because there's so much to see on the island, however if you have a week or more in Maui a day excursion to Lanai is well worth a trip. Lanai is unquestionably worthwhile to visit, it attracts a wide range of people from those speaking for luxury to those eager to explore and pristine reefs on the island. There is a magic that everybody that visits the island will have the opportunity to see and experience for themselves. Lanai Island definitely does not disappoint. It will make you feel more than excited to have the experience of a lifetime. Try and visit the island life at Lanai with rich history and legend behind the island. Make sure to stay connected and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.